Jared, my love, my best friend, and my soon-to-be husband. It's so hard to think that just in a blink of an eye, our very big day we have dreamed about for the past two years is finally here. We have come so far since we met on that EMS call. You've been my rock through so much already, I couldn't have gotten to this point without you. Jared and I have been best friends for 11 years. Cass and I had your typical sibling relationship, although we were a bit on the rambunctious side too. Every milestone in life there is, Jared and I have gone together. Cassidy has grown into an incredible young woman, one that I am so wonderfully amazed by. She is one of my best friends, and I don't know what I would do without her. Throughout these last six years, I've loved watching you grow into the person you have become. I can't wait to watch us grow when our little one arrives. I can't even tell you how excited I am to watch you be a mom to our son. I can't wait to see you walk down the aisle. Let's do this. We're gathered here in the sight of God, as friends and family, to witness the union of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Thank you for always being my shoulder to lean on, or the person I want to tell my good news to. There's not enough words to explain my love for you. You truly make me the best version of myself. You are the most amazing, caring, and loving person I have met in my life. Hi Jared, take you Cassidy. Hi Cassidy, take you Jared. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. To love and to cherish. Until death parts us. I'll never forget the first day Jared saw Cassidy. He came home from a fire call, and he couldn't stop talking about some blonde girl that he saw at Wilton EMS. He just had to figure out who that blonde girl was. That's all I heard about for hours. And five years later, here we are. I remember when you came home to the house and you told us that you were going to propose, and all I could say was, well, it's about damn time. <laughs> I'm excited and honored to be here tonight to share your special day and to see what the future has in store for the three of you. You're my only one. I'm excited to officially welcome you into the family and to finally be able to call you my brother-in-law. One of these days, the two of us, we're gonna go downtown, we're gonna take a bus, we're gonna go downtown together. Over the last five years, I've watched you grow as a couple, and it has been beautiful to watch the way that you've loved one another when it was easy and when it was hard. So if you wanna make it rain. Jared is very lucky to have found you, and I couldn't have imagined a more perfect bride for him. You wanted more, 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 and you're my only one. I would like to propose a toast to this couple for the past, the present, and the future. Congratulations. The bride and groom to a lifetime of love and happiness. Cheers. To Mr. and Mrs. Marshall, may your love be modern enough to survive the times and old fashioned enough to last forever. Cheers.
it rain, you may get poor. You started flying towards the sun. You wanted more, more, more. And you're my only one. The only one for me. You're my only one. I am beyond excited to spend the rest of my life with you. And I cannot wait to see what memories, tears, and laughs are in store for us in the years to come.